As we have discussed previously, Justin is agoraphobic, a condition I've explained and given you information on. But I feel the need to add a diagnosis of schizotypal disorder. Schizotypal. So just what exactly does that mean? Ah, schizotypal. It's a mental disorder. Usually appears in late teens and early adulthood, but sometimes it can manifest in childhood. Okay, so? Well, a person with schizotypal disorder, they tend to isolate themselves. Um, they may exhibit atypical social behavior patterns and paranoid ideations. He locks himself in his room, is obsessed with becoming, you know, the world's next Van Gogh. Does Justin ever leave the house on his own, you know, without coaxing? He does have an elderly lady he goes and sees often. You know, she's a kind of a crackpot, but nice. She... She used to be a teacher, so she helps him with his homeschool lessons and, you know, lets him stay there when I'm out. She's one of the few people he feels comfortable with. How would you characterize yourself as a mother? Are you loving and nurturing? This isn't the part of the conversation where you're gonna pull that. It's all the mother's fault. Business, is it? Because if it is, I can tell you, I busted my ass for that kid. I had him when I was 16. And I, you can't please, just please, know. Please, don't misunderstand me. <sighs> These are important questions, not accusations. The best case scenario is that he will simply outgrow this. He's very healthy for the most part. He just takes certain behaviors to the extreme. I mean, having interviewed him privately, he has a firm grip on reality. The behaviors he exhibits are just coping mechanisms to help him work through the things that disturb him and make him quiet. You said best case scenario. So let's hear the worst. Okay. Occasionally. And very rarely, schizotypal disorder can progress into schizophrenia. I mean, Justin is eccentric for his age, but he, he's grounded in reality. Schizophrenics, they lose touch with reality altogether. They, they hear voices that are very real to them, as real as the conversation you and I are having right now. So what you're saying is, he's just kind of nuts now, but on his way to being even more nuts? Please, hear me out. I think we can treat him with cognitive behavior therapy. <laughs> Let's go with this worst case scenario. Let's say my son goes full blown loony. Then what? I know of a wonderful inpatient facility for children with this disorder. Too grand to get to this point? Shit! Miss Travers, please. Let's go. Now. Come on. Oh, Let's God, go. Take it easy. Your father was nuts. My mother, your grandmother, was nuts. Your Aunt Joni is nuts. Your cousin Suzette's nuts. You don't get to be crazy, Justin. There has to be a normal gene in our gene pool somewhere. But Mom. No. I'm not. You don't get to be crazy, Justin. You just don't. God damn it! Hurry up, Mom! I'm coming! Shit. Justin! Justin, wait! I want to talk to you! Turn that shit down. 
I have something to say and you're going to hear it. Off! Now this is how it's going to go down tomorrow. I have a lot to do in the afternoon, so I'm going to let you off at the park. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Justin, I swear to God, this shit stops. If you continue to behave this way, I'm taking away all your art supplies, all your posters, and your iPod, all your traveling psychology magazines. Go away. That's it. You open the door right now or I'm taking it off the hinges. I'm going to get the screwdriver. One, two. Now that's better. Let me see your face. Okay, look, we are gonna take baby steps. You can take your art box and your iPod. I don't expect you to make friends yet, but you can at least be around other kids. You cooperate and you get to keep your door and all your stuff. Deal? Jesus Christ. Vinny. Vinny, are you there? Greetings, my young protege. Are you having trouble sleeping also? Yeah. You need sleep. Of course. Even the soul does not lose its need to be replenished. Oh. I have been vacillating on something. Perhaps you could be of assistance. I'm planning a trip in the future to the Louvre, and I would like to perform, how should I say, some harmless little pranks. So, shall I? Tilt the Mona Lisa? Or shall I have the curator's pants suddenly become loose and fall about his ankles? <laughs> I think you should do both. <laughs> After I shall. What's on your mind this gloomy? Well, I'm kind of embarrassed to say. Well, you know you can share your innermost thoughts with me. How does the saying go? Dead men tell no tales. That's not a saying. It's a book. Mm, thank you for the astute correction. But what is concerning you? Mom's making me go to the park tomorrow. What could be more delightful than a day at the park for an 11-year-old boy? You know why. Mm, well, sometimes we must just face our fears. What would life be like if we never had the courage to attempt anything? I'm not scared. If not trepidation, then what? I just like it better here, with my things, and you. And I too greatly enjoy our time together, Master Justin. But it remains a curiosity what deters you from seeking the companionship of children your own age. I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. Justin? Justin! What, Mom? Who the hell are you talking to? Nobody. Exactly. Now settle down and go to sleep. We can converse later, my young protege. But remember, what would life be like if we never had the courage to attempt anything? Justin, are you going to sleep? How can I go to sleep when you keep yelling? You're as mouthy as your dad used to be. Justin, remember what I said about all your stuff. I don't want to hear one more peep. You're going to go to the park tomorrow, and you're going to have a wonderful time. <sighs> Life would be easier if I had a kid I could ground. Justin, let's go. Come on.
Could you walk any slower? Let's go. Chop, chop. Did you remember to bring your inhaler? Yeah, I got it. Speak up, Justin, and stop that damn mumbling. I asked you if you brought your inhaler. What does it matter? You won't be around to see if I have an asthma attack or not. Don't pull that shit with me and knock it off with a guilt trip. Do you have it or not? Are you happy now? Yeah. Carla is such a little sweetheart. Ugh. You know, she lives close to Aggie. Maybe you could visit her sometime. I bet she gets lonely. She's a freak. Why, because she's handicapped? No, I don't think she's a freak because she's handicapped. I think she's a freak because she's not handicapped. What do you mean, she's not handicapped? She can't walk for Christ's sake. She can walk. Are you saying she's faking being crippled? She's not exactly faking it. What the hell are you talking about then? She had a conversion reaction. A what? A conversion reaction. It's when you don't want to deal with something and you don't want to think about it. And that problem transfers to a physical problem. Where the hell did you get that garbage? Oh. God damn it, yards and parks to play in, they gotta run in the street. Anyway, what kind of crap are you talking about? I read about it in my 21st psychology magazine. She can walk with the proper therapy. <laughs> proper therapy. Concentrate on your own therapy, Justin. And if I'm gonna continue to give you an allowance, you need to order more age-appropriate stuff. And I know, with all the crap that's probably building up in your room, I know damn well that you were playing on Aggie's sympathies. You know, it's not right to let that old lady give you money for a bunch of off-the-wall shit. Well, Aggie's smart. She agrees with me about Carla. She told me. Justin. It is just plain strange that you're an 11 year old boy and you spend your time gossiping with that old busybody. It's weird. Now, I want you to stay here at least an hour. After that, you can walk home and drop in on Aggie. Walk home? Why the hell can't you pick me up? I told you, I have things to do. Like what? Like go to the store and fill out job applications. I don't know my way home. Justin, you know this neighborhood like the back of your hand. I think I'm gonna hyperventilate. Ha! The hell is so damn funny? You! You are not getting out of this. Look, there's an empty picnic bench. Take your art box, go sit down, and draw something. Fine. Sonny. Hello, birthday boy. Is this the call to thank me? Thank you for what? Birthday gift I sent you. Has it arrived? No, man. I, I haven't had time to go to my mailbox. Oh, it's way too big to fit in your mailbox. It'll be delivered to your front door. Yeah, whatever, man. This chick you hired, she stinks. Huh? Who stinks? This... Sierra Love chick. It's a pain in the ass editing this stuff. Not enjoying it, kid. Are you kidding me? She can't act! Rocket, think about what you're doing. I am. I wrote a good plot with a decent storyline. This chick blows. Hmm. Isn't that the point? Screw you, Sonny. 
Sex is secondary here. Rocket, you think our fans are looking for a plot? Get a grip. Listen, we're not trying to make Sundance-worthy projects here. What the hell's wrong with you, birthday boy? Who is it? Open the door and close your eyes. Rocket, sweetie. You're in for a big surprise. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Happy birthday from Sunny. I'm, uh, Bambi. What's wrong, handsome? Can't catch your tongue? Yeah, something like that. Sorry, I wasn't expecting company. Mm. Looks like you could use a woman around here to take care of you. You like champagne? A little early, sweetheart. Well? Mm -hmm. How long are you gonna be here for? As long as you want, birthday boy. Sonny said you've got a running tab. His treat. Good old Sonny. So, um, what's your pleasure? You know, it'll be really sexy. What's that handsome? If you went into the kitchen in that cute little number you're wearing. Mm-hmm. Got the sink full of suds. Oh, I like the way you're thinking. And did the dishes for me. Your wish is my command. girl what you got in the box loser none of your damn business that's what I got in the box oh man he means business mm. get away from me what's this John something pretty for your mama I don't think she'll like it how about you start over oh are you gonna cry You're doing a really good job. You make a wonderful wife someday. You ever do any modeling? Oh yeah, all the time. You know, I just got back from Paris on the shoot for the cover of Cosmo. You got kind of a smart mouth on you. I like that in a lady. Keeps things interesting. Kind of ignoring you, I um. I don't do this. Don't do this. My son, he's sick. <laughs> I think someone is calling you. It can wait. Maybe it's important. Just one sec. <laughs> yeah, Sonny. Hey, Rocket. You know that one actress, Leslie Jones? Well, word on the street is that she's 15. What? How could you let this happen? It's not my fault. She said she was 21. She looks 21. She acts 21. She gave her ID. Jesus Christ, because nobody's ever used a fake ID before. You shady son of a... You said everything was going to be above board. No druggies, nobody underage. We're running a legitimate business. Ring any bells? It is legit. 
Jin. Have we filmed anything with her yet? No. Okay, okay, okay. Good, if she comes by the studio, we'll tell her to kick rocks. I'll head down there right now and do some damage control. Listen, I'm sorry, I, I gotta... No, it's, it's fine. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. Hey, what's your real name? I know it's not Bambi. It's Dina. So fast, you little piece of shit. And the rest of you better not move. What's going on here, huh? What he do to you? Now you skinny little assholes get down on your hands and knees and pick that shit up. You two. Every damn bit of it. That's better. Now you little punks, y'all apologize to this young man. I can't hear you. Speak up. Sorry. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Now, you're gonna let it go this time. But if I ever, and I mean ever, witness some shit like this again, I'm gonna go to every single one of your houses and I'm gonna tell your parents what a bunch of little assholes you are. And if they don't whip y'all ass, then I'll gladly do it for them. Cause Wishbone Devon, he don't really like to tell nobody nothing twice. You got it? I don't think I heard you. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Get y'all sorry asses home. I walk past you every day, and I don't want to see y'all ugly faces no time soon. Hey, 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 hey. Don't you pay those kids no mind. Look, they ain't nothing but punks. Little punks, that's all. Yo, <laughs> hold up. Woo! You draw this? Yes, sir. Wow. You didn't trace it or nothing? No, sir. That's cheating. Wow. What's your name, kid? How old are you? My name's Justin Travers, and I just turned 11. My mom got me that Orpux for my birthday. Well, Mr. Justin, she sure did pick out the right gift. You ever sell any of your drawings? No, sir. Could I buy this? It's ruined. Oh, there ain't nothing a little scotch tape can't fix. Look at this, Tanaya. Isn't this cool? Well, let's see. How much would you take for it? Oh, it's okay. If you really like it, you could just have it. Nope. Mm -mm. No, sir. You're gonna be a huge famous artist one day. And that would be taking advantage of you. Let's see. Well, I'm a little bit short on cash today. Would you take $5 for it? Sure. There. Yeah. Hey, you just sold your first piece of artwork. How's that feel? Good. Where you live, kid? You want me and Tanaya to walk you home? No, it's okay. I just live over on Dowling Street. Dowling Street, huh? You wouldn't happen to know a lady named Maggie Langford, would you? Sure. She's a good friend of mine. <laughs> well, you just tell her that Wishbone Devon says hello. And kid, you do me a favor. If anybody ever bothers you again, you tell them Wishbone Devon will hunt them down and kick their ass. They'll know who I am. Daddy, don't you like any of my drawings? I love your drawings, baby. You don't give me any money. That's because I'm your daddy. You give them to me for free. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh. 
hold me down. Now my feet don't even hit the ground. Just like a prisoner at his sentencing, all my dreams are coming true. until tomorrow. Guess what, Aggie? I went to the park alone. That's wonderful. Well, I didn't want to. Mom made me. She said it was for my own good. How did it go? Well, not so good at first. Well, what happened? This group of kids attacked me and broke a bunch of stuff in my art box. Oh, no. It's OK, Aggie. This guy that came by the park with his little girl helped me. He even bought one of my drawings for $5. That's wonderful. He says he knows you. His name's Wishbone Devon. Sweet Jesus. Wishbone Devon? Go inside, I got a surprise for you. It was many years ago. He was one of my foster children. Just a little boy. No younger than you. He was a sweet little man. So timid when he first came to me. <laughs> Scared of his own shadow. <laughs> he sure doesn't act like that now. You know, I adored that little guy. But then my husband got sick. And the social worker who came by to visit the kids once in a while said it was just too much for me to take care of my husband and the children at the same time. So, what happened to Wishbone? Well, you know, he was sent to a foster home. And another, and another. I tried to keep tabs on him. But he just got lost in the system. It's just sad how that happens. Well... How about I make you lunch? Or are you full of lemon bars? No, it's okay. I kind of want to go home because I'm working on something. School work, I hope. You want me to walk with you? No, I'll be okay.
Mom? You hear? I'm up here, Justin. I'll be right down. Well, hey, you. So how did it go? It was okay. What'd you do? Well, I started picking a bench and I drew. Well, did you make any friends? Yeah, a couple. Well, do you think you might like to go back? Maybe. Hey, do you know a guy named- Hang on. Hello? Oh, hi, Gina. Yeah, no, actually, I was just thinking about you. I'll call you back, okay? No, I just, I gotta make Justin something to eat. Okay, yeah, no, I'll call you back. Okay, thanks, bye. All right, yeah, I'll let you know. All right, thanks. Okay, bye. Asshole was in the park, but I saw his face. He has a little girl's face. Of course they did. How could you feel they would think otherwise? Remember who your mentor is. <laughs> so, tell me about this man, your new friend. Oh, his name is Wishbone. That's a very curious name. Well, that's just a nickname. His real name is Clarence. We feel lonely from time to time, long for people, and think to ourselves, we should be quite different. And meet a friend and say to ourselves, this could be the one. <laughs> but there's much self-deception in this longing. If we yield to it too much, it could lead us from the road. So you think I shouldn't be friends with him? Quite the contrary. What I'm saying is you should make many friends. But I don't want to make a lot of friends. There's a sight for sore eyes. <laughs> Hi, Jack. How you been? Oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. And how's Justy? <sighs> Justin's moody as ever, oh. you know, hole up in his room all the time, drawing and dreaming. Hey, yo. How you doing? Come here, let me buy you a drink. <laughs> what are you drinking? Um, you know what, just a soda. I'm here about a job. Jack, can you get her a soda and put it on my tab, please? Um, so how did it go? You know that problem at your work? It blew over. It always does. Well, that's good. How's, how's your boy? My boy? Yeah. He doesn't have cancer, does he? No, cancer, no. I, 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 you said he was sick, I don't know, my head. Oh, oh, well cancer. he's sick, but he's not sick sick. You know, not like that at least. <laughs> what kind of homework are you doing? Whatever it is, it sure is making you happy. Um, science. Now, mister, you know I have a rule in this house. School work first. And then... Hmm. Do you think it's good? I think it's very good. Who are you drawing a picture of? It's Tanaya, the little girl from the park. That, 
Tanny, what did daddy tell you about standing on that couch? The balance being daddy, I'm gonna be a gymnast. Yeah, that's a real fine dream, baby. But you won't be a gymnast if you fall off of there and break your little legs. You said you wanted to be an artist, right? I don't know, maybe that's a little safer for you? I want to do both. And what do you plan to do with it when you're done? I was thinking of getting Wishbone's address and sending it to him as a present. Well, I think that's very sweet, baby. But I also think you need to concentrate on your schoolwork at the moment. I know. I just have one more thing to add. Can I finish it, Aggie? Please? All right. Fifteen minutes and that's it. Thank you, Aggie. Mm-hmm. Hey, Jack. Do you have any jobs open available? I just got laid off. Oh, honey. I'm so sorry. I, I wish I had known. Missy quit to go to Brooklyn, and I just filled her position this morning. So, But people come and people go. So I tell you what, I'll let you know first thing if something comes up, all right? All right, thanks. I'm willing to do anything. You keep your chin up, and I'll check around. Thanks. Daddy, what are you making for supper? Chicken, mashed potatoes, and carrots. Yuck, I want spaghetti. Well, future gold medalists, they ain't gonna survive on no spaghetti. Now get down from there. Tanaya, Agnes, Devon, you are trying Daddy's patience. Now for the last time, quit messing around and get off of that couch. Okay, Daddy, but I got a dismount. Tanaya, help! Tanaya, Tanaya, come on, baby. Tanaya, come on, baby. Come on, wake up. Come on, baby. Come on. Let's make a toast. What are we toasting? To the future. And to all good things to come. And to Dina and Rocket, who met under the strangest of circumstances. <laughs> Is your real name really Rocket? William. I know, kind of boring. No, I mean, it's rather dignified. Hey, what'd you do to your hand? Oh my god. I was kind of a klutz as a kid. A six year old girl has died following a drive by shooting, officials said. The victim, Naya Devon. Piece of shit. Six years old? Do you know them? Wishbone and I were friends, as kids. What happened? Nothing. We both just went our separate ways. Neither one of them good. Oh, God, this makes me sick. I gotta, I gotta get out of here. Take care. Aggie, can you walk me home? Sure, baby. Thanks.
Vinny. Vinny, where are you? Oh, there you are. I thought you were mad at me. Oh, well, greetings, my protege. Why would you feel I was disconcerted? I thought you might have seen my magazine about Renoir and got mad. Oh, Renoir. There is no anger in the Athro world. What is it that's bothering you, my confidant? I feel so ashamed. What is it that shames you? I didn't do anything. I just feel stupid because I cry a lot. Men shouldn't cry. There's no shame in emotions. It's what the creations of the greatest artists are born of. I guess you're right. I don't get why somebody would do that, Aggie. You shouldn't do nothing to nobody. I know, baby. But, well, it's just a damn shame when someone has to pay for the sins of their fathers. You mean Wishbone? Oh, no, no. There's an old saying. Things that happen now started a long time ago. You know, things that got a hold on people. And, well, it's very complicated. Nothing should be complicated enough to kill a little girl. Any asshole should be able to figure that out. I know, baby. I know. Aggie. Hmm? Do you keep things locked up around here? Your door? Do you keep that locked up at night? Of course. Are you worried about me? Justin, I want you to listen to me. I've lived here my whole adult life. It's never been a very nice neighborhood, but it's my home. Nobody bothered me then, nobody bothers me now. I'm just an old woman with a house full of things that mean nothing to nobody but me. And I refuse to be afraid of the men who were little boys I love, okay? Hmm. Oh, I got something for ya. I remember that you love nostalgia <laughs> and old photos. And I ran across these the other day. Is this you? <laughs> it sure is. Wow. How long ago was this? Oh, it was many, many years ago. I was 18 years old. That's a scene from an off-Broadway play in New York City. I was a member of Gabby's Girls the only African-American gal in the bunch. Mm -hmm. How long were you a dancer? Well, not long. The love of a man took over the love of dance. Mm. How were the white ladies? Were they nice? Well, they were very nice at first. I was the underdog, and they took me up under their wings. They were sweet as pie until they found out how well I could dance. And then I became a damn color bitch, among other things.
was at the park. He there right now? Right now. He there right now? Come on, man. Let's go. Get out of here, you punks. Wishbone. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. Remember what the man said? If you're gonna go looking for revenge, you better dig two graves. Do not make things worse than they already are. How can anything be worse than it already is? Huh? In three days, I got family flying in from New York. And guess what? It ain't gonna be no family reunion. I'm burying a beautiful little six-year-old baby girl who never did one damn thing except for try to bring joy to everyone she met. Look, she was trying them. to... Wish them. Look, I can't even pretend to understand what you're feeling right now. You got that right. And I hope you never do know how that feels. Don't do it. Wishbone! Wishbone, don't do it! There's so much crap in here. There's plenty of canned stuff in there. You can microwave something. That's all crap too. God, Mom, it's like you don't even give a shit. Sometimes you make it hard to give a shit, Justin. What are you doing there anyway? I'm trying to pay the bills. What? Sit down, I wanna to talk to you about something. Come on, sit down. As soon as I get a job, I'm gonna be working a lot of overtime. Why? I wanna save as much money as I can. Why? What are you gonna buy? I'm not gonna buy anything, Justin. As soon as I can get a little bit ahead, we're gonna pack up the truck and we're getting the hell out of here. Well, maybe you are, but I'm staying here. Justin, you don't even like it here. I mean, we could go anywhere. We could go somewhere warm, somewhere peaceful, some nice little town somewhere. I said I'm not going anywhere. Justin. I'll just go live with Aggie. Justin, I know that you're mad, but you can't live with Aggie. A Aggie is an eccentric old lady. You can't live with her the rest of your life, you know, watching old movies and listening to jazz and having her give you the gossip of the neighborhood. That's another reason why I think we should leave. That eccentric old lady, as you call her, happens to have more class in her little finger than you'll ever have in your entire body. Oh, uh, what's that? You wanna leave off for another town because you use up all the men in this one? Justin! Justin! Shh. Oh my god, it's an healer. Shh. Shit. Shit. Oh, come on. Damn it, come on. She put it down. I gotta go back. I gotta go back. Get over here! Get off of him! Let's go! We had this huge blowout, you know. 
But he's out there, all alone, in the dark, and he didn't take his inhaler! Dina, he just went to cool off, okay? That's what kids do. He'll calm down and come back like nothing ever happened. No, no, this was different. You know, this wasn't just some little tip. You know, I want to call a cops, but he hasn't been gone long look, enough. Look, look, we'll find him, okay? I won't leave until we do. Need a 52, code 2, for a stabbing victim. So that was your friend, Wishbone? Childhood friend, yeah. Oh my god, this little girl. Stelly should have kept her mouth shut. Stelly? Yeah, Wishbone's wife, ex-wife. I don't understand. His little girl, that was a message to Stelly. What are you talking about? In my line of work, you hear things. Sonny is the pulse of the grapevine, he knows he's shit. He tells me things I'd rather not hear. <laughs> Look, I still don't get what you're talking about. Stelly got pinched. They had her on drugs, dealing. She was gonna go away for a long time, unless she started naming names. And she did. Why didn't they go after her? Why her kid? When she disappeared, every Tom, Dick, and Harry in this town knew she was somewhere running her mouth. <laughs> but what do you mean, running her mouth? I mean, yeah, she was... She was trying to save her own ass, but she was doing some good for the neighborhood by turning in those pieces of shit. You don't turn on your own, Dina. <laughs> you sound like you're defending them. I'm not defending them. I'm not. It's not right, but that's just the way it is. Hey, 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 hey. What? Hey, what? Hey. No, I hear his music. I think he's home. Okay, he's home. He's safe. Justin! Justin, are you okay? What do you care? Hey, buddy. My name's William. My friends call me Rocket. Listen, why don't you open the door, let us in, see that you're okay. Or I could come in, you know, we could talk man to man. If I let you in, there would only be one man here and his name is Justin. I tell you, kids love me, I know we did it off. You know what, don't even worry about it. He's just gonna get himself all worked up all, all, all over again. Okay, Justin, um, I'll leave you be and we can talk in the morning, okay? All right, good night. I'll stick around for a little bit, all right? Make sure he doesn't jet. Okay, yeah, thanks. Yeah, of course. You know, you get a phone call. I know the drill. Won't be necessary. Suit yourself.
some 17 homeless sleeping on the bridges. Get a job as a dishwasher cook, some shithole bar. Mm -hmm. That's when I meet Sonny. Tells me he's in the movie business. Mm -hmm. Ask me what I'm doing wasting my time in a place like this. Says he needs editors, screenwriters, cameramen. I was just some dipshit kid. I bought it. So what happened? You know, when you got started at 17? I mean, he was real slick at first, you know? Had me running errands, shit like that. I didn't know what was going on. Ah, that was stupid. So when did you, you know, realize what he was really doing? I think deep down inside, I kind of always know. Sure. From my uh, 18th birthday, mm -hmm. he had a woman come over to my apartment. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So here I am, older, not a whole lot wiser. Vinny, I'm surprised to see you. I am called for you. I sensed some angst. Could I perhaps be of some comfort? Well, do you know what happened? Alas, no. I can only see into your life if you allow me to. A disgruntled artist. You should tell yourself, I'm seeking, I'm striving, and I mean with all my heart. Well, it's not that easy. I'm trying to remember something, and it's too bad to talk about. But I can tell you. So you write screenplays? Yeah. Even had the nerve to show one to Sonny. Yeah? Yeah. He said, he's blown away! He said he was gonna change gears for a while. Mm -hmm. Produce something reputable for a change. He said he'd use my script. So did he? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Calls me, tells me he's got a surprise for me. Mm -hmm. It's my script. Now, what I wrote was PG, okay? Sonny sends me over some moan and groan at Sex Fest Aww. with a little bit of my dialogue sprinkled on top. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I can't believe I ever thought that sleazy bastard would produce anything reputable. Well, have you shown your stuff to anyone else? Who am I gonna show it, Tina? I edit porn. Nobody's gonna take me seriously. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I just have this feeling like, like you just never know. It's getting kind of late. Yeah. I should get out of here. Yeah, sure. Thanks for the beer. Yeah. Take care. See ya. So, I don't know what to do. <laughs> well, I, I wish I could advise you, but I have little knowledge of the workings of the 21st century. First and foremost, though, there is self-preservation. Well, I have to do something. Well, Remember what I told you in our first encounter. What would life be if we never had the courage to attempt anything? Hey, Mom. Yeah. Can you pick up newspapers? Um, one of my assignments is on current events. The convenience store is just a couple blocks down. You can walk down and get one. But Mom. no, Justin, come on. Doctor James said Fine. that you're supposed to be getting I'll out to do, do these things. Here's a couple bucks. I'm gonna be out for a while, so you can go hang out with Aggie. You guys can have a movie night. Bye.
Clarence William Devon, you are here charged with first degree murder in the death of Tyrus Fremont. How do you plead? Guilty. 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 Daddy, were you able to dance like that? I probably thought so. <laughs> oh my goodness, look what time it is. It's my fault I got you caught up in this movie. But you know what? We still got time for you to do one of your assignments. <sighs> What did daddy tell you about climbing on that couch? It's a bad thing, daddy. I'm gonna be a gymnast. You said you wanted to be an artist, right? I want to do both. Oh, 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 oh. Aggie. Hi, Justin. I'm sorry to wake you up. You weren't in your room, so I was thinking you might be here. I hope I don't scare you. I know you've been real, real sad. I just want to stop by and tell you I'm okay. Justin, can you please do something for me? Can you please tell my daddy I'm okay? He's been real sad. Do you, do you think you can do it? That might be better. I can't, Justin. My daddy doesn't believe the same things as you. That's why it wouldn't work. Oh. My daddy sure did like that picture, Drew. He told me if I kept practicing, I'd be as good as a little boy in the park. He bought me an art box like yours for my birthday. It was supposed to be a surprise. I found it. I snooped. I'd be real happy if you'd tell him. Okay. But don't tell him I found that art box. He'd get mad at me because I was so nosy. I won't. One time, Daddy told me, Tanaya, I'm Mr. Vaughn. You may be only six years old, but you're the nosiest woman I ever didn't know. Tanaya, are you happy? Mostly. But I'm sad about my Daddy. I'd be real happy if he knows I'm all right. OK. Vinny, I need to ask you something. It's gonna sound stupid. Well, the only unintelligent question. Are you real? Of course I'm real. Why, why would you think otherwise? I was reading up on schizophrenia. A person hears voices and sometimes sees things. And I saw the little girl. The one that got shot. She seems so real. Do you doubt that she was real? No. That's the point. Schizophrenics believe what they see and hear. I read about it in the issue of the 21st Century Psychology. Maybe I'm just sitting here, talking to myself. I'm getting scared. I also read that voices are really nice at first. I don't know what to do. I don't want to be crazy. These people, voices that you hear, are they kind? Yeah, they're really nice, but that's how it starts. You have opened your heart, Master Justin. Once you do that, you open yourself to visits from all kinds of kindred spirits. They will always be kind. They won't visit you if you don't want them to. If you are truly mad, they would continue to come whether you wanted them to or not. I just hope I'm not crazy. Hmm. I thought as you did, my protege that I was mad. But after my demise, I realized I was not mad at all. It was the world around me that was mad. Does that make sense? I'm probably too youthful to understand right now, but you will someday. I'll be back in a minute. Might be a little longer than that if Rosa's working. <laughs> 
You know she can talk a person's ear off. Okay. Aggie? Aggie? Hello? Aggie, it's Wishbone. Hey, Wishbone. It's Justin Travers. Oh, I, I thought I This I'd is call. Aggie's house. You met me in the park. Aggie went to go get some coffee. I can talk to you until she gets back. Justin? The little boy from the park? The... the artist? That's me. How you been, buddy? I'm good. Aggie's helping me with my math homework. Uh, let's see. Well, I don't have much time to talk. Um, y you drew any more masterpieces? Yeah, I'm working on something now. It's taking me a really long time. I'm sure whatever it is, it will be awesome. I hope so. I'm thinking about entering it into a contest. Well, I know if I was a judge. I know you'd get my vote. Thanks. Um... I want to tell you something, but I don't know if I should. You can tell me anything. But he's for life. I, I saw Tanaya. You mean that day at the park? No, she really came to talk to me. She wanted me to let you know that she's all right. You, um, you mean you had a dream about Tanaya, huh? No. Or kind of. I really saw her. Don't you believe me? Yeah, look, I, I believe you, buddy. But it was just a dream. A vivid dream. Hey. I appreciate you trying to make me feel better. I wasn't supposed to tell you something. I promised, but... What's that? You bought her an art box just like mine for her birthday. You said if she practiced real hard, she'd become as good as the little boy in the park someday. Wishbone? Are you still there? Hey, uh, look buddy, I gotta go. You tell Aggie I said thank you for letting me add it to my call list, and you take care, okay? What is up, little man? How you doing? All right. Good to see you. Mom needs smokes. Yeah, she just called. I'll get him to you on the sly. I don't want to get my ass in a jam with anybody. Now, come have a seat. You tell me what's new. Mm, not much. School lessons, mom nagging me, whatever. You be good to your mama. She's good people. Hey. I usually save those for happy hour. But this is a special occasion. Hey, can we get another round? Yep, I'm there. What? Dina? Hey. Something wrong? Oh no, you know, it's just Justin. I mean, sometimes I think he's a lost cause. I don't want to get into it. Um, what's up? Uh, I was just thinking about you. I was wondering if you might want to hang out. Uh, sure. Yeah, when? I'm at work, but I'll be home in a bit. 
You can go over, hang out, wait for me if you want to. My key's in the bottom of the mailbox. Bring Justin. <laughs> yeah, right. What are we gonna do? Make popcorn and watch movies? Sure. Didn't you say he likes the old stuff? I got a bunch. Cagney, Stewart, Grant. Um, yeah. Yeah, that sounds great. Uh, I'll see you there. Wanna do the dishes before I get home? Not funny. <sighs> it was a joke, Dana. I gotta run. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, I'll, s I'll see you later. Bye. How has life been treating you since the big layoffs? What? Um, no, I never heard of it. When? Yeah, I mean, that sounds great. Yeah, I mean, yeah, maybe we could share a place or, yeah, you know, until we get enough money saved or, yeah, until we drive each other crazy. Yeah, that could work too. <laughs> okay. Well, look, um, I'm going to head out for a bit, but can I call you back in a while? Okay, sounds good. I mean, you, hey, Maria, thank you. Okay, bye. Whoa. When did you get this? Uh, a couple weeks ago, when Rudy's bar closed down. Yeah. Is this a red letter day or what? Martavius King, you get your ragged ass over here and give your god daddy a big hug. <laughs> All right. Hey, what's this that I have to learn through the grapevine that you're gonna be a daddy? <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been meaning to stop by though. Oh, sure. <laughs> hey, sit down. Sit. What's this all about Wishburne? Do you know anything I'm just sick about? It's really sick. I don't know. How? <laughs> you know, I know, but how can that be? I mean, it was something that's got to be. I've Hey, Aggie. It's me. As soon as you get this, could you please come over? It's really important. She put it down. I, I gotta go back. I, I gotta go back. Get over here. Get off of me. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, boy. What you doing? Come on, man. The phone. We gotta go, man.
Aggie. Aggie. Street. What's going on, ma'am? It's a little boy, and he's unconscious. It's this is Gladys. I'm his next door neighbor. Is he breathing, ma'am? I don't think so. Justin, Justin, come on, stay with me, buddy. Come on. on a spare keys, all right? What the hell are you doing? You gonna do my shit? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I was waiting here for you and... and you didn't show up and I started reading and I couldn't stop. I couldn't put it down. William. You're so good. Stop. You're so damn good. You should be submitting this to something. Stop. Oh my god. No, no, I will be right there. I'll be right there. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye. What's wrong? It's Justin. He's in the hospital. Come on, I'll go with you. Hey, how you feeling? Um, Mrs. Leighton is here. She brought this for you. They're pictures of Aggie. I know what it is. Okay. 
I have to go out and just run a couple errands. She's going to stay. She'll be downstairs if you should need anything, okay? I don't need a babysitter. Justin, I know, but you just got out of the hospital a couple days ago, so she's here just in case, okay? Fine. I won't be gone long. I'll be back to help you with your nebulizer. her too. I mean, I never even told her that. Do you know I never even said thank you after everything she did for us? Oh, come on. She knew. And she knew what it was like to struggle. She knew. Yeah? Octavius King? That's me. Can we come in? Ask you a few questions. About what? Clarence Devon. What about him? He's well, he's run into some unfortunate legal problems, and we thought that maybe you could give us some insight. We'd like you to come down to the station. Just ask you a few questions. You're not in listen, any trouble. Listen, without a search warrant, you are not coming in. And without an arrest warrant, I'm not coming out. Have a good day. Mr. Justin. Hi, Wishbone. I hope you are okay. I'm fine. We are moving in a few days. We're going to California. The factory my mom works at is starting a new one there. I'll send you my new address, and we can be pen pals if you want. I drew a picture for you, and I hope it makes you happy and not sad. It's from the day we met in the park. Your friend, Justin Travers. David, would you like to go to lunch with? Oh my goodness. When did you get that? This afternoon. It was a gift from one of my younger patients after our last session. He painted it himself. Looks like one of those Vincent Van Goghs you love so much. Right? It was for a thing called the Van Gogh Challenge. Each one of the entrants had to do their own version of a Van Gogh painting and rename it. He chose the starry night and called it 
charcoal skies. Did he win? <laughs> no, he never entered. Why not? It's amazing. Yeah, well, he didn't think it was good enough for the competition, but he did think it was good enough for me. You know, there's an interesting story behind the painting of Starry Night. Vincent Willem van Gogh painted it while looking out at an area called saint remy de Provence. He was in a mental institution. And the view from his window was looking east from his room. He loved to paint in the stillness before dawn to calm himself. He didn't like the painting. He wanted to destroy it. But his brother talked him out of it. One of the most famous paintings in the world. <laughs> Justin! <laughs> you have to see this! Look at it. It's this video that's going viral. <laughs> this, um... This big hotshot from the Louvre Museum, he uh, was showing some dignitaries around, and he reached up and his pants fell down on his ankles. You should appreciate this as much as you love art. <laughs> um, I'll be right back. There she is. Hi. So this is it, huh? Yeah, yeah, I guess we're about set. How's Justin doing with all of this? Uh, you know, I don't know that he's real happy about it, but he's resigned. You know, he's still gonna see a psychiatrist. Dr. James found me someone in California. Good, that's good. Yeah. I'm glad I got to see you before you left. I got some news I wanted to tell you face to face. Wait, wait, what's wrong? Why something always gotta be wrong, Dina? <laughs> because when someone tells you they need to tell you something face to face, usually there's something wrong. No, nothing's wrong. So what is it? You ever hear of a film company again with a feeling? Yeah. Yeah, but what does that have to do with anything? They bought one of my scripts. Oh my god. For real? Yeah, for real. What you said to me the other night about being a great screenwriter, it helped me. I submitted a script to an agent. He hooked me up and... William, you should come out to LA. LA? Yeah, I mean, we're gonna be right near there. You'd have all kinds of opportunities. You know, just the sky's the limit. I don't know. What about... What about what? It's Sonny. What about him? He's not doing so hot. His health, it's... I'm all he's ever had, you know, he's all I ever had, Dina. I mean, he could come with you. It's just never too late, you know? I mean... Sonny's not gonna move. You're an amazing person, Dina. Well, you know, I'm still, I'm still really happy for you. I'm gonna tell everyone I know that I'm friends with a big famous screenwriter. Take care, Dina, all right?
Well, are you all set? Yeah. I took one last look around the place, and I got everything. Okay. You're not going to take Van Gogh? No, um, I think I'll leave him here. He kind of cheers up the place. Okay. Well, will you help me with these last couple boxes, and then we can head out? I lock up. Well, are you ready for this, kiddo? Yeah, I think so. I mean, this has been my, our home, you know, our whole lives. I know, Mom. But what would life be if we never had the courage to attempt anything? Sunsets in the sky Won't let these moments pass us by Take my hand, don't be afraid Through the brighter days Love has 
has changed my former point of view. Just like a butterfly, I've got new wings. All my dreams are coming, all my dreams are humming.